Good morning and welcome back to my channel. We are doing a very impromptu video. It's a monthly favourites. I realised yesterday that I hadn't posted a second video. And when you watch the vlog this week, it will all make sense. <laughs> the renovation update is in there and I'll start dropping renovation content next week. And so I've just been trying to organize that in the back end and I let the second video slip, which I don't like doing because I love you guys and I love giving you some stuff and content to watch. And so we're going to get into it this morning. It is quite early. It's like 7.45 and I've had a coffee, put on my activewear. Let me just show you because it is new. It's such a cute color and I'm excited to go do a workout because I'm finally feeling like I've got my strength back and I'm feeling better and it's just... A good day a good Friday and I'm ready to get into it but we are going to get into my monthly favorites now you guys know I love these videos because not only does it give me a chance to show you any empties it also gives me a chance to tell you what I haven't liked what I love what I would buy again what I have bought again and yeah without any further waiting let's jump right in I also have my passport <laughs> sitting here as well and it's just like making me so excited every time I try to concentrate I'm just like Europe 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 cannot wait for that and if you guys have any Europe content that you want to see from me put it in the comments and I'll be sure to get it done because I have a whole list of content that I'm planning to make obviously packing videos essentials I'm gonna do one for like the carry-on and one for my main luggage and so I've got a plan but if you have anything else that you want to see from me please let me know okay where to start <laughs> I think we can start with our vitamin C. So I have the CEO by Sunday Riley. It is 15% vitamin C, which I feel like is a good amount for me. Obviously, before you try out any skincare stuff, do like a test patch. See if it agrees with your skin before you do that. Now, I did buy another one. So we restock. This is my first time finishing it. One of my subscribers left a comment saying get a cotton swab and like a earbud scoop it out and that's what I did because look at that I like completely finished it 10 out of 10 I love this product so much I did go into Mecca last week to get this and I asked the girl I said oh do you have any other recommendations because I really like it but I'm also open to trying different skincare or different products because I feel like my skin can handle it as well and if I like something that's like at a cheaper price point or does something better then I want to like tell you guys that and she recommended me the allies of skin vitamin C and I nearly had a heart attack because it was so fucking expensive and I said to her I actually have a product from them which is this it is the retinol and peptides repair night cream I got this as a bonus for my beauty loop it is so expensive I've been too scared to try it so I think I'm actually going to try it this month if anybody else has tried it Please let me know in the comments if you like it. I'm just scared because it's such an expensive brand. And I know what I'm like. If I start to like something for my skincare that is pricey, then it just gets put in my routine and then I'm spending too much money. So I will keep you updated on this come our next video. This is kind of crossing into makeup, but also very much for your skin. It is the Bobbi Brown Face Base. Can you believe that I have finished this? I can't. <laughs> I think I've had her for over a year. I also really scraped the crap out of this one. I'm not a waster. You'll see in a second what I've done to another product, but I did luckily get gifted this. So I didn't buy this. This was gifted to me from Bobbi Brown when they sent me PR in maybe October, November last year. And I'm so grateful that they did because I was just hoarding this one <laughs> until I was finished. The other point I want to make on this is I checked underneath because I'm like, fire out. I've had this forever. And it actually has a 24 month like expiry. I don't know if you can see that. It's got like 24 months there. I really like that because I feel like a little goes a long way with this. You don't need too much. If you do want to invest in it, you could probably have it for the two years and it would do you good for the two years. Now, I did also come on here in another monthly favorites and tell you that I love the eye base as well. I do love the eye base. However, I have some reservations there in the sense that I think I should probably just invest in an eye cream, <laughs> which I haven't done. I'm turning 31 now. I just turned 30, but I'm turning 31 next year and I probably should need, probably should invest in an eye cream. And so if you are looking for a primer, a good product to put under your makeup, highly suggest this. I've been getting so many compliments on my makeup and I always think a good makeup application comes down to your base. So if your base is glowy, if your base is hydrated, if it's looking good, feeling good, which this does for me, it will go a long way. I then have 
makeup products. It's been a sad moment for Laura Mercier because <laughs> she's done. And look what I did to this. I was on TikTok Live and someone's like, get tweezers and undo it. And it came off and I would recommend you doing that. If you have a powder, there was so much in there and I got it out because I took that part off. It just wasn't coming out when I was pouring it. And so while I was at Mecca getting the vitamin C, the lovely staff there, I said to her, I'm currently using the Laura Mercier. I don't hate it. It's not doing anything wrong to my skin, but I'm open to trying a different powder. And I had also asked you guys for some recommendations. A lot of you said the Huda Beauty one. However, when I went into Sephora, they didn't have any in stock. So I probably would have got the Huda Beauty one, but I just wanted something then and there because I was empty, right? And so she recommended to me the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And it is just beautiful. I'll just show you the bottom. I wish I had it on now so I could show you how it looks on my skin. But if you watch any of my videos from last Friday, this is what I've had on top. And it's just set my makeup so nicely. I'll just open it and show you. Oh, there's probably powder everywhere because I've been flicking it around. Yes. So I was a bit worried about the applicator. It's got like the letter H for hourglass and not that many holes. I'm like, how is the powder going to get out? But you can very clearly see the powder has no issue coming out. My makeup has lasted all day. The same lasting and wearability of this. I do feel like this gives my skin a better finish though. And what I mean by that is... This is slightly drying and I notice on the areas like under my eyes or even around like my crow's feet, this could leave like, it could seep into the skin and just leave, not, not necessarily lines, but you could just see the definition a lot more. It's a bit more grainy. This is very soft. I wish you could feel it through the camera. Go into Mecca if you're thinking about it and just touch it because it feels like, I don't know, it just, yeah. It feels soft and it's nice and makeup looks beautiful. It lasts, that's all I really care about. I don't wanna be having to like touch up my face throughout the day, especially on days where like I'm in the studio or running around from like appointment to appointment or running errands or anything like that. And so I feel like I probably won't repurchase this again and I'll stick to this one. However, when I finish this, I might try the Huda Beauty one because I got a lot of recommendations on that too. Okay, next makeup item is my eyebrow pencil, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the OG. If anyone has a dupe for this, let me know. I actually had to buy this, not because it ran out. I'm in the shade medium brown, by the way. Um, I had to buy this because <laughs> I don't know if it got damaged when I went to the Gold Coast, but the pencil inside the pen, and I'll just show you what it looks like. I have to be very careful because I've still got the other one, but when, I don't know if it happened in travel or whatever, but one day I was going to use it and I took off the cap and I do really like this product, but I took off the cap and I tipped it like that and the whole pencil just came out. And so what I've had to do is be very careful when I open it and slowly, slowly it's starting to break because I'm having to like manually put it into here and then do my eyebrows. I bought this backup one in case that one really goes and I need to do my eyebrows now. I did ask for a dupe only because this was $40 and I do get a lot of wear out of it, but I'm like, fuck, for an eyebrow pencil, I could probably use a different one. I think someone said... Oh, someone left me a comment. I can't remember which one they said was a dupe, but if you have one, let me know. I then have a recommendation that's in a sample and it's been in my videos before, but it is the Estee Lauder Sheer Double Wear and it's a different shade. So some of you might recall I was wearing 3W1. This is 2W1 and this just sits and looks so much better on my skin because I feel like it's a touch less yellow and a touch more pinky and I tend to have a pink undertone. And so I have been wearing this as well since last Friday. I do need to go and buy a full size one because look at this, the sample is almost out. And I believe what's gone on is when I started wearing the 3W one, I was more tanned and it was in summertime and my skin does throw a bit more gold when I am tanned, not on purpose. You guys have already been through this with me. If I'm at the beach or outside, I do tend to change color quickly. And in summer, I do go a shade or two darker. And so now that I'm faded, you can see how pale I am against this color. This one has just been mwah, holy grail. And so I'm going to take 2W1 and 3W1 to Europe because my thought process is I'm probably going to change color in Europe as well. And not that I will probably wear makeup. I hate wearing makeup in summer, but if I go out for a nice dinner or I have the wedding at that point, I feel like I probably need the 3W one. And so yeah, just another 
shout out to Estee Lauder. I love this foundation. When I went to get the sample at Mecca, she's like, oh, this one's not that popular. And I was like, why? People are sleeping on this. It's like one of the best foundations I've ever, ever used. And I love her. I've got hair and then I've got scent. Hair is, I kind of match the color of these, the Purology Shampoo and Conditioner. You guys would have seen that I repurchased these in last week's vlog or maybe the week before. And I needed both at the same time, which is very rare. I usually run out of shampoo first because I do two shampoos. However, I love these and I got them again and I can't fault them. I think I'll always just end up back at Purology. I've used the purple one. I've used the blue one. I think there's a blue one. And I've also stuck to the gold one. Keeps my hair hydrated, keeps it glowy, keeps it healthy. My only, only, not complaint, but my only point is that I haven't actually used the conditioner in the past week and a bit because I've been experimenting with the K18 treatment which was a sample in one of my orders from Adore Beauty. You'll see in this week's vlog that I actually use it properly. <laughs> and I'm quite happy with the K18. So I don't know if that means I might change my conditioner, but obviously I purchased it. So I'm gonna finish the new bottles and then probably make a call on that. Now I need to get the scent and I don't have it in here because it's in the bathroom, but give me two seconds. I'm gonna run and go get it. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Now I'm very excited because I bought this product when I had just gone through my heartbreak and that was in October. Well, I went through the heartbreak in September and then I bought this, I think in October as like a treat yourself, but it is my Baccarat Rouge, this size, cause all the other sizes are too expensive and it has lasted me. I still have a tiny, can you see that tiniest bit left? And I was very kindly gifted a new one from my family my parents for my birthday haven't opened her yet i don't think it's bad if i leave it in there surely not i love this perfume a little goes a long way i feel like the reason it's lasted me so long is because i do alternate it so i tend to wear this whenever i have an event or a shoot or i'm going out out if i'm just like running errands at home i will wear the cloud by ariana and People say they smell quite similar. I don't think they smell similar. I just like them both, but I do really like this perfume. You guys would have seen in the vlog, I hated the candle. I think the candle was foul. Didn't even smell like this. And if you can go in, try it out. I know it is pricey, but look how long it's lasted me. I would say it's lasted me over a year and a half and that will probably last me. I reckon I could take that to Europe actually. It's a good idea. And then just keep this one for when I'm back, but love her and i always get compliments on how nice i smell and i think it's partially this and then i also think it's because of my deodorant which i need to put you onto this guys it is from dove advanced care we love dove here but it is the apple and white tea scent this smells so good i love the original but i love this one more so if you haven't tried it go and try it i've got on lots of compliments for how yummy i smell and i think this is a hit i recently just started using this one probably like three weeks ago because prior to that, I was using the original. And then I was also using, was it Nivea? Maybe the black and white one, but this is where it's at. Anyway, that is my haul. Thank you for spending this morning with me. There will be hopefully, no, not hopefully. <laughs> the vlog is coming out tomorrow. Renovation content is coming out next week. Thank you for your patience with me. I hope you guys are having a good weekend doing whatever it is that you are doing. I've had my coffee and now I'm going to head to the gym. Goodbye. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.